The meeting of the Greater Lafourche Port Commission will now come to order. Please turn down your cell phones or put them on vibrate. Thank you. First, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Joe Drop, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Ogeron. Next, we have roll call. Mr. Colley, would you please give roll call? Yes, sir. Seat A, Chucky Sheremy. Here. Seat B, Johnny Ardorn. Here. Seat C, Jamie Lafont. Here. Seat D, Rodney Gisclair. Here. Seat E, Curtis Pierce. Here. Seat F, Larry Griffin. Here. Seat G, John Melison. Here. Seat H, Mike Kelly here. Seat I, Chris Kelly here. We have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Next, we have a ceremonial swearing in of Mr. John D. Ordorn as board member for seat B. Mr. Ordorn, would you please get up and we're going to swear you in. Mr. Landry, we have our Attorney General, Mr. Jeff Landry, will be swearing him in. I thought you were just buying me lunch today, Chuck. No, John is. Oh, no, you got to work. <laughs> you got to work for your lunch. Support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. And laws of the United States. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties that incumbent upon me. All the duties that incumbent upon me as a member of the Greater Lafourche Port Commission. As a member of the Greater Lafourche Port Commission. Division B. Division B. According to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, and understanding, and understanding, so help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. All right, Mr. Wardnorn, welcome aboard. Thank you. From everyone on the board, we're very excited to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. Excited to be here. <laughs> and okay. if, if I could at this moment, um, Mr. Rodney R. Gisclair could not be here and he served in the interim on behalf of his, uh, took the place of his brother, uh, Mr. Perry Gisclair, um, who had passed away and he served with us, uh, with you since September of 2019 so we want to thank him for his service and hopefully we can get him in at another meeting to uh, recognize him. So uh, thank you and Welcome aboard, Mr. Ardorn. Thank you. Okay, next. <coughs> Approved minutes for July 8th, 2020 regular meeting. Need a motion. Move. Yeah, one by Mr. Second. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Uh, John Nelson. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have director's report. Thank you, Mr. President. First is our northern expansion projects. Northern Expansion, Slip C, 1100 foot east, Bulkhead. Pisciola and Associates, Joe Pisciola. Uh, yes, yeah, Shavers Widows uh, Construction is the contractor. Uh, they, they're steadily working on this project, driving <coughs> concrete piles. They're beginning to form up the first uh, concrete dead man and they are welding the structural components on the bulkhead. They are on schedule, everything seems to be going fine. Okay, Good. any questions for Joe? Thank you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Northern Expansion, Slip D, and Bayou Lafouche Dredge Project. GIS Engineering, I think uh, Davey Bro will give us the update. All right, this is our large dredge project that will be coming up. We are actually advertising <coughs> August 18th, this next Tuesday. We're going to be taking bids September the 17th on that project. That's uh, dredging in Bayou Lafouche and Slip D, and we're going to do some mitigation with the material coming from that dredge. Any questions for Davey? Okay, Davey, you can stay up there. Now we're moving on to airport projects. Airport projects under operations for July. We had 1,544 operations, passengers 5,245, and vehicles 14,963. 
uh, vehicles at the airport itself. And when we move on to uh, airport uh, approach obstruction removal project, this was to top some trees in the area of the runway. We advertised for bids, we received no bids. We did speak to FAA and have approval to uh, actually get quotes. So we're gonna be putting that package together and receiving quotes from uh, local contractors. And the reason why we've been <coughs> able to do the, uh, go the quote route is one, we got approval from FAA and DOTD, but two, the threshold for uh, projects, the state law changed just recently from 150,000 or below for quotes to 250,000 or below for quotes. And this reaches right about that 150, we believe, 150,000. So we're, we're within the state law. Thank you, Davey. Okay, moving on to other projects. Uh, we have the OMB review. I'm sorry, we have the airport connector road and bridge, PCL and Associates, Joe. So on this project, um, we're, we're set to uh, submit our 100% uh, final design plan set to DOTD uh, early next week. It'll be Monday or Tuesday next week. Um, <coughs> in anticipation of trying to get that approved sometimes uh, in early September and have DOTD sign off on it. The right-of-way plans are approved. Uh, Bryce is currently working on appraisals for different right-of-ways. Um, we're currently holding a virtual public hearing on the port's website, um, and, and you can log on to that or onto LADOTD's website to look at it. Uh, it's basically a, narrat a narrated uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, giving all the details about the project. Uh, we're also having an in-person public hearing uh, next Tuesday the 18th at 6 p.m. Uh, in this uh, room here at the Port Commission. Uh, we'll also give that same PowerPoint presentation and we'll have some uh, poster boards showing all the different components of the project and uh, the details on, on each road and how it's going to affect the, the, the neighboring landowners. Um, we're on schedule to have everything approved <coughs> and, um, and get it uh, approved authorization from FHWA sometime late in September. So we're on schedule. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Joe. Okay. Thank you. And moving on to other projects, the uh, OMB review of the feasibility study and word of update. So um, as you all are aware, uh, we went through an extensive <laughs> several year process for this feasibility study. Um, we were approved by the Corps of Engineers and the Assistant Secretary of the Army's office. We also were uh, reviewed and approved by Office of Management and Budget in Washington. And uh, we very fortunately we're able to, um, without a little, not without any drama, but we, we, we got through that drama. And um, last Wednesday, um, we passed, or two Wednesdays ago, actually, today. Uh, two weeks ago today, uh, the word of bill on the House side passed and gave us, his, which would give us authorization to go to a minus 30 feet uh, in Bell Pass and Bayou Lafourche into our northern expansion. Uh, so that's now moving on to the Senate side and we're working with our senators and delegation to make sure that it stays in the bill <coughs> and gets passed. We're not sure yet exactly when that's gonna come up on the Senate docket, but we're, um, we're paying attention and uh, we're, we're um, positive that um, it'll be approved on the Senate side and we'll have a minus 30 foot while we continue over the next couple of years, we should be able to get uh, authorized for 50 feet in Bell Pass as we have originally set out to do. Any questions on that? Okay. Now we move on to public comment. I know Ms. Uh, Christine Russell, the DA is here and she would wanna make a comment. Good morning and thank you for giving me the opportunity to briefly address you. I wanna start off by just thanking all of you for the work that you do for our parish. Uh, it's always an honor to stand before all of you. You represent the great things about our parish and it's always wonderful to work alongside you to make our parish great. Uh, I also would like to just thank uh, Attorney General Jeff Landry for being here. Thank you for all that you do for our state. Thank you for all that you do for our parish. We greatly appreciate your presence. Um, please know that our office is always there for you. We have First Assistant Jennifer Richard who's here this morning as well. We're always a phone call away if you need anything from our office. Um, and anything that we can do to make your jobs easier, we're here to help. <laughs> and finally, congratulations, Mr. Ordon. Uh, I look forward to working with you. If you need anything, please do not hesitate to call our office. 
So have a great day, and thank you all so much for allowing me to address you. Thank, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Ms. Russell. Thank you very much. Okay, Henry, come on up. All right, Mr. Henry. Good morning, gentlemen. Um, if you don't mind, I'll take the mask off while I speak. Um, Mr. Andrew Morton is passing out um, some appraisals on the property that we had um, done concerning the <coughs> the corridor, which Mr. Pisciola just spoke about. Um, this matter really began in 2006, and with this board in uh, January of 2019. Um, we received your appraisals on the property in May of 2020. Uh, now about 74 days later, we are giving you our, our appraisal. The appraisal is from Ms. Sherry Dufresne of the Foolish Appraisal Services. Uh, it covers Mr. Morton's residence and property and Ace Morton's office and property. Uh, attached to the resume, uh, to the um, appraisal is a resume of Ms. Dufresne. As you can see, she's been involved in real estate since 1990. She has her own appraisal services since 2003. Uh, she's been accepted by numerous banks, mortgage companies, and attorneys. And she's also a qualified expert in the 17th Judicial District Court for the Fouche Parish and the 24th Judicial District Court of Jefferson Parish. Uh, when you compare our appraisals with the appraisals of the Greater Lafourche Port Commissions, I think you'll see a lot of differences in certain items. One I just want to point out right now is the comparables chosen by Ms. Dufresne as, as chosen by your appraisers. Uh, when you look at the, the um, picture that, that was shown by, by Mr. Um, PCO earlier, you can see that when one considers traffic, safety, environmental issues, and costs, the location of his property is just perfect for this project, and I think consideration needs to be given for that. Um, uh, we, we've tried to cooperate as much as we could with the Lafourche Parish, um, mm -hmm. uh, with the Greater Lafourche Port Commission, and trying to re come to an agreement. Gentlemen, uh, you have our appraisal. You have um, um, what we think is a fair counter offer. And I hope that we will be hearing from you soon, and we can conclude this matter. I'll answer any questions if you have any, guys. Thank you. And Thank we'd you. like to be make this part of the minutes. Thank right. you very Absolutely. much. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Henry. And we will review this and be back in touch for sure. Thank you. Okay. That All concludes right. my report, Mr. President. Thank you. All right. Next, we're moving on. Committee reports. We'll start. Members or executive committee. Chuck <laughs> Chairman, Chairman, Rodney J. Gisclair Sr., Mike Colley, John Mellison Jr. First, we have consider approving the request from Aris Oceaneering to extend tower lease. Okay, so this is um, <laughs> Aris' slash Oceaneering uh, wants to extend a tower lease. It's for equipment that identifies pipelines in the area of the port. Recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move. Move my Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Curtis Pierce. Any discussions? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? <laughs> Motion passed. Next, we have to consider approving the request from FDF Energy Services to lease site GLF 404. All right, so this site is being vacated by National Oil of Varco. Recommendation to approve this FDF lease request. Okay, need a motion. Move. Moved by Mr. Rodney or just clear, second by Mr. Johnny Ordorn. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion pass. Next, we have consider approving the request from Port Fouchot Marine Incorporated to change to an LLC and consolidate and extend all leases GLF 103, GLF 103-194, GLF 104. Okay. Um, this is, again, a consolidation of all the leases, these three leases together, and changing the name from the incorporated to a Port Fouchon Marina LLC. <coughs> uh, recommendation to approve. I move. Okay. Moved by Mr. Mike Colley, second by Mr. Jim Lafon. Any discussion? <coughs> Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion pass. All right, next we have Consider approving the request from Offshore Rental LTD to change name to Tiger Offshore Rental LLC for lease site GLF 409, GLF 411, and GLF 412. This is straightforward, mm -hmm. strictly a name change. Recommendation to approve. Okay, need a motion. Move. Move. 
Moved by Mr. Curtis Pierce, second by Mr. Larry Griffin. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion <laughs> passed. Next we have consider approving resolution requesting approval from Attorney General to hire attorney assist in real estate acquisition for airport corridor road and bridge project. Okay, um, we've been working on this for a while. Um, we have several uh, properties that have been appraised and are being appraised and this is a recommendation to approve this request. Need a motion. Move. Move by Mr. Larry Griffin, second by Mr. John Mellison. <coughs> Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next we have consider approving the policy on COVID-19. Okay, as we're in the midst of this pandemic, uh, um, there's a, a document here. We went over it on Monday evening, been working on this for a little bit. Everything that's in here is the, are the actions that we typically have been taking uh, when there's any threat that someone maybe um, has COVID or, or was um, introduced to COVID at some point. Um, so it tells us the, the introduction is what is this about? The purpose is because of uh, COVID-19 and we want to make sure that we keep our people and employees safe. Um, it tells our employees about, you know, what the symptoms are and kind of goes through that and um, talks about the, uh, what, what we will do in, in the event that someone um, either tests positive or has been uh, in contact with someone who tested positive. All right. Okay, need a motion. I move. Moved by my colleague, second by Mr. Rodney Giscalero. <clears throat> Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. That concludes executive committee. Next we go into permits and waterways. Members are Curtis Pierce, Jimmy LaFone, Chucky Sherman, and Johnny Ardorn. Mr. Pierce. All right. We, uh, we have Great Little Food Sport Commission permit to a uh, project proposed to expand an existing three-bay boathouse to add a fourth bay. The boathouse extension will be roof roofed and include placement of pilings, wharf decking, and <coughs> boat lift. Uh, next we have South Lafouche Levee District. Installation of floating lock on Bayou Lafouche and La Rose, approximately so many cubic yards of material will be excavated and hauled off site and approximately so many cubic yards will be hauled in and placed on site. The next three are some revisions. First, we have LLOX LLC, proposal to install and maintain one six inch pipeline approximately 16,000 feet to produce Castel Lafouche LP number one. It will be installed in open water and approximately 30, 30 feet will be trenched through the marsh. Approximately 4,000 feet will be bored. Uh, approximately 10 acres of marshland water bottom may be impacted by this proposed activity. Next, we have Castex Energy Incorporated. Proposed installation of two six, six inch flow lines to serve the Castex Lafouche LP23 number, number two well, approximately all this material will be displayed for boring, jetting, and bank line stabilization. The next extension is on Cantium, an installation of, a, of three four-inch flow lines in Bay Marchand Field. Uh, as much as uh, 0.65 acres of estuary open water could be impacted by this project. And that concludes the permits. Uh, we have a Bayou Lafouche vegetation spray. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, to mention that um, we're very thankful to Lafouche Parish government and the Bayou Lafouche Freshwater District. I know we have uh, Mr. Lorraine here and Ms. Boudreaux here, uh, the two <coughs> council persons for our, our, um, where our jurisdiction is, for the port's jurisdiction, but we really want to thank <laughs> them. The, the Lafouche Parish government actually pays for the herbicide that's sprayed in the bayou to, to kill that vegetative life that chokes up the bayou and then the Bayou Lafouche Freshwater District actually uses their manpower to go out there and spray it. So we wanted to just um, thank them for doing that because uh, it was getting to be a problem and we appreciate it. 
All right, and that's, that's it. That concludes my report, Mr. President. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Next, we go to Construction and Development Committee. Members are Mr. Larry Griffin, Chairman, Chris Colley, Jimmy LaFon, Chucky Sherman. Mr. Griffin, you up. Thank you, Mr. President. First is consider approving the DOTD Intergovernmental Replacement Agreement for Phase 3 Slip C Project H013648. Okay, so this uh, is for state port priority funds. The <coughs> funds are now available. Prior, it was a, a fully reimbursable uh, project, and now the, the funds are available. So that's the reason for this replacement agreement. Recommendation to approve. You need a motion. Move. Moved by Mr. Uh, Rodney R. Jisker, second by Johnny Ardorn. Uh, any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next is consider approving change order number one from Shaver's Widow Construction for Slip C, 1100 feet bog head project. So this change order is for um, adding five <coughs> days to the construction time. Recommendation to approve. You need a motion. I move. Move by Second. Mike Colley. Second by Jimmy LaFont. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next is consider adopting a resolution for port matching funds for the land and water conservation grant from Coastal Wetlands Board. All right, so we've been working on this uh, grant application with uh, Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries and the Land and Water Conservation Fund for about a year now. Um, what this does is our original agreement was for a $600,000 project. They got back with us and said we could apply for a $700,000 project that they would match 50% for. So it would be a $350,000 match from the Federal Land and Water Conservation Fund. Recommendation to approve. We need a motion. Move. Move by Mr. Curtis Pierce, second by Mr. Chris Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Uh, that concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Next, we go into permits to uh, Finance Committee. Members are John Mellison, Jr., Chairman, Rodney <coughs> Jessica Senior, Mike Colley, and Chucky Sherman. Mr. Mellison, you up? Good morning, and thank you, Mr. President. We'll begin by consider approving payments of the July 2020 invoices and recognizing those over $10,000. Item one, Shaver's Whittle Construction, $262,640.32. That's for the slip C phase three bulkhead part one. Item two, PC and Associates, $125,569.22. And that's for several items. Excuse me. Airport Connector Road and Bridge, slip C phase three 1100 linear feet of East Bulkhead. The Flotation Canal Pavilion and General Engineering, the Flotation Canal and Frontal Commercial Marine Dredge Project, and the Tidal Creek Bridge, along with culvert improvements for Slip D. Item 3, GIS Engineering, $51,310.38, and that is for Slip Dredging of, I'm sorry, that's for Dredging of Slip D, Front Marina Boat Lift, GAO Airport Seal Coat, and General Engineering Surveying and Consulting. Item four, Vision Communications, $51,144.88. That is for phone, fiber, internet, and cable services for July and August. Item five, Infrastructure Consulting and Engineering, $29,136.50. That's for GAO Obstruction Removal. Item six, Grand Isle Shipyard. $21,106.35. That's for contract labor at the airport, along with limestone for the public boat launch. Item 7, Eagle View, $18,054.90. That's for the 2020 aerial image in the port. Item 8, American Integration Contractors, $13,384.84. And that is for wireless network, security cameras, maintenance, contract, and other work done. Item 9, Dell, $12,614.91. And that's for IT equipment and software. These items, along with other expenditures, brings us to a total of 
$206.06. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion we accept these expenditures. All right, I got a motion by Mr. Mellison. Need a second. Thank you, Mr. My colleague. Uh, any discussion? Any public comment? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, as we discussed on Monday night, we need to consider approving the July 2020 unaudited financial statements. And Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion we accept these. I got a motion by Mr. Mellison, second. second by Mr. Larry Griffin. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Mr. President, this concludes the financial report. Thank you, Mr. Mellison. We're out of Finance Committee now. Any other business? Any other any public comment? I'd, I'd like to recognize our new representative, uh, Mr. Joseph Ogeron, and congratulate him yes. on his successful campaign. Thank you very much for being here, and you're welcome just as anyone else, but you're welcome to be here any day you want, and uh, we look forward to working with you, for sure. I know you have a, a pretty quick timeline and, and a special session more than likely coming up in October, so we'll look forward to working with you through that. Thank you. All right, any public comment? All right, I need a motion by Mr. Jim Lafon to adjourn, I need a second. Second. Second by Mr. Rodney Orr, just clear. Any discussions? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to the meeting. We enjoyed having y'all. This is y'all port. It's close to the 10th ward, so anytime y'all want, y'all come back. Meeting adjourned.